Hey Oscar P, and welcome to Fact of the Future, where students and faculty compete to see which person knows more about the other's era and lingo. My name is Denise Haroff, and I'll be the show's host and student contestant. Today we have nursing professor Dr. Samantha Headstream Pale. Say hello, Dr. Pale. Hi. <laughs> All right, so the way this works is Dr. Pale has academic terms for me to try to guess the definition of, while I have slang terms of this generation for her to guess the meaning. She also has terms from her generation, and we end the show with a picture round. The person that makes the most correct guesses will get a really cool high five at the end of the show. Cool. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's begin. So the first word for you is bruh. So that's kind of like brother or friend or... Yes. Yes. Can you use it in a sentence? Say, hey, bro, let's go do something. <laughs> Bruh. Yes, that's technically correct. The sentence I had for you was, how you been, bruh? Okay. Now it's Dr. Pale's turn. Oscultate. Oscultate. Hmm. And you're a nursing major, so I'm going to guess. I'm just going to make a wild guess. Oscultate. That's, I have, it has something to do with the heart. Well, you auscultate the heart. <gasps> okay, so, but I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to listen to. With oh, okay. To listen to. With a stethoscope with or a stethoscope, at all? Usually, usually you're using a stethoscope, but if you can, you can auscultate abnormal sounds sometimes without a stethoscope. Okay, here's the term for you. Fleek. A fleek. A fleek. A, a Greek with fleas. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fleek means on point. On point? Mm. Yeah, really commonly, it's when a girl has her eyebrows done really, really well, you'd say her eyebrows are on fleek. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't have guessed that one in a million years. <laughs> okay, next. What is that? <laughs> okay, wait, I'm going to try and say it. The S is silent, so it's phygmomanometer. Sphygmomanometer. Oh, I said momanometer right now. <laughs> <laughs> Monomena. Monomena. Okay. <laughs> what is it? That's a blood pressure cuff. That's the fancy word oh. for the blood pressure cuff. See, I would have guessed it was some kind of dinosaur. Okay. That would have probably been my yeah. guess. Yeah, the meter probably would not be, I guess, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's my turn. All right, doe. Doe, a deer. A deer, a female deer. That's all I got. <laughs> John Doe, don't know who they are. <laughs> That's actually a really good guess, but it's totally wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doe is uh, another word for, it's instead of saying though. So if someone has really crazy or really impressive anything, so like, um, oh, that hair doe. Usually that's what you use to emphasize. So instead of though, you say doe at the end of the sentence. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, next. Bodacious. Wasn't this the name of a really famous bull? Rodeo uh, bull. <laughs> yeah, there was a bodacious. <laughs> yes, he was a big time bucking bull. But isn't bodacious mean um, like a curvy body? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, bodacious is kind of awesome, beautiful, that kind of thing. Okay, all right, so I was wrong. <laughs> Next. Okay, so here's the picture round. Those are a designer earrings. Yes, you're and right, I, can you name them? They're not Michael Kors, I can't think of the name of them. No, but that's a really good guess. I'm actually impressed that you're like, <laughs> naming, you know, this stuff. Yeah. But you don't know the name of these earrings? No, huh? They're called Kendra Scott earrings. Okay. So I'm guessing this is something used in the nursing field. No, no, it's just fashion. It's, it's not, oh, I know what it is since you said that's a shoulder pad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Shoulder pads, they were so. From the so, 80s, yes. So bad. Yes. I don't know why. <laughs> shoulder pads. I Those mean, are small ones too, by the way. Those what are about, pretty. so you could say them shoulder pads dough. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it looks like, Dr. Pale is the winner today. Oh, you I get a high so. five. Did I? Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you did. I'm pretty sure you did. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, this episode was possibly filmed in front of a live studio audience. Um, is this going to be on the test? Thank you, viewers, for watching. Now, fact to you. Menomena. Do, 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 do. Okay, bruh.